Hi everybody, this is Professor West for GMC. Today we're going to be talking about making your movements more realistic. Specifically, we're going to talk about having the tires rotating properly when you're moving a vehicle. So, I've already got what looks like the Mars background up. Feel free to put your own up and then follow me over and we'll get the rover. That's what we're going to be using in this exercise. We're going to go to setup scene and I couldn't find it by looking through them because I wasn't sure where it was at. So I came to search gallery and I just typed in rover and there it is. So I'm just going to drag it up onto the screen, click OK. And I think I'm going to make mine a little smaller because that's a little too big. So I'm going to hit resize. Grab this thing up here at the top and make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to move it closer to the front of the screen. Now I don't know which way is the front and which way is the back. If you look at it, let me uh, turn it. You can see it. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know. I'm assuming right now that that's the front. So I'm going to move it on up that way, and I'm going to put it back on default. So that's how I'm going to have it setting right now. I'm going to go into edit the code, and we're going to set it up so that you can use the, the arrow keys to control it. This will come in handy on some of the projects that we're going to do in, um, either this week or next week also. So right off the bat, we're going to go to Initialize Event Listeners. And there's already one. There's always one here by default. This one listens for you to click the Run button and then runs the first method. We're going to add one. So go down, click the drop down. We're going to go to the keyboard. And we are going to add the key press listener. That's the top one here, I think. Now technically we could set we could use this for any key. We're going to use it for the arrow keys, but we could use the key press for any key. So if you wanted to use WASD like a lot of games do, you could. Now we need to come in here and set it up so that it checks to see which key gets pressed. To do so, we're going to use a series of if statements. So right down here at the bottom it says if. Drag it up here and put it in and we'll go ahead and tell it true by default. <clears throat> and then grab another one and we're going to put it in the else statement. That's the second one down here. Just like that. And we'll tell it true also. So this one is actually inside this else. And we're going to do it again. And then one more time. So you'll have four all together. And the reason we're doing this is it's going to say, okay, if it's the up arrow, then do this code. Otherwise, then it's going to come in here and it's going to say, oh, okay, is it the left arrow? Okay, then do this code. Otherwise, and then it's going to come here and go, oh, is it the down arrow or whatever. However we choose to set it up. So now we're going to use this event key here. And notice that you can put it right with the true. So I'm just going to put it right in there. And it's going to ask me which one do I want to do. Well, let's go to arrows. And let's just pick left. And then... We'll just do them in order. Arrows up. Arrows right. And arrows oops, down. Doesn't really matter what order you do them in as long as you set them up properly. <clears throat> OK. Now we need to tell it what to do. Well, if they put the left button, then we want it to turn to the left. So make sure your rover is selected here. Let's come down here and let's get the one that says turn. And we're just going to plug it right in. Since it's turning to the left, we're going to turn it to the left. And let's do the 0 0.125, the top one here. And if it's the up, then we're actually going to use a move. So let's get the move, and let's put it for the up. 
And how far are we going to move? Let's go forward. So choose forward. One. For the right, we're going to turn it to the right. 0 0.125. And I'm sure you guessed it by now. For down, we're going to move backwards. One. So if I run it right now, if I push the left arrow key, it turned. If I push forward, see how it drives around but the wheels don't turn? That doesn't look quite right. That's okay, we're getting there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is add a procedure for our rover. Sometimes, right here under procedures, there's a button you can push. There should be one. I don't know why there's not. That's okay. There's another way we can do it. If you come all the way up here to the top, this little drop down, you can point to Red Rover and you can tell it to add a procedure. And I'm going to call it Rover Move for now. And notice that it put it right up here at the top. Gave me a parameter there. And now it's time to set up what's going to happen. So, we're going to point to the rover here. We're going to point to the tire. And we're going to tell it to get the front left wheel. And that's going to bring up a bunch of front left wheel stuff. This is all stuff that's associated with the front left wheel. We're going to get the one that says turn. So drag it on here. And we're going to turn it forward. And let's go 0.5. Now this is going to make the front left wheel appear to move forward. And now we're going to do the same for each of the other wheels. So we already got the front left wheel. Um, let's get the... Let's see, we've already got front left wheel turn. Let's go back to this and do the back left wheel. And we want to make it turn. And we're going to make it turn forward and 0 0.5. <coughs> then we're going to do the front right wheel. Um, it's going to go forward 0 0.5. And last but not least, we're going to do the back right wheel. And you guessed it, all the tires rolling forward. Are turning forward this one will also go forward 0 0.5 so now we've got all the wheels set up so that when they move they're all going to move forward at 0 0.5 meters now obviously we're going to fix this later so that other things can happen but for now this is good enough Okay, let's go back to the event listener. And let's make sure that our rover is clicked on. And right here we're going <clears> to <throat> we're going to take this procedure and we're going to drag it into the move up key press. So now, when we run it, if we push up, it should move up, and then the wheels turn one at a time. So when I first pushed up, the front left one turned, then the back one turned, then the next one turned, then the next one turned. So we're going to need to go in and change that so they all turn together. 
So just like before, we need to get a do together. And we're gonna drag that over here. And we're just gonna put all four of these in it. Doesn't matter what order, because they're all gonna work together. Now when we run it, it moves forward, and then the wheels turn. So we need to tell that to do it together also. So let's go back into event listeners. Right here, when we push up, it moves forward, and then it turns. So we need to get a do together and add it up there and put these both in it. So when I run it now, it should turn. There they go, turning as it moves forward. Nothing happens when I move backwards. Nothing happens when I turn sideways. But as I move forward, now my wheels roll. Isn't that exciting? That looks really good, doesn't it? So, here's what you're going to need to do. I'm not going to walk you through this. You've already done enough of this that you can follow along and do what we just did. Everything that we just did, we created, uh, we went over here and we created this procedure called Rover Move. We could have called it Rover Move Forward. Now we're going to need one for Rover Move Back. It's going to have the exact same four things. They're going to move 0.5, but they're all going to move backwards. And that one is going to go into the event listener here for moving backwards. They're all going to have to be in the do together, just like it is here. And when you move it over here and you put it with the down arrow key, it's going to have to go in the do together along with this one, just like we did. With left and right, it's a little bit different. Instead of two moving forward and two, instead of all of them moving exactly that amount, we're going to have it, we're going to have the front two wheels, like the, I'm sorry, the left two wheels, if we move to the left, the left two wheels would move backwards and the front two wheels would move forwards. That would cause it to quickly turn to the left. If you, when you make your one for the right, it would do the opposite. The front two, I'm sorry, the left two wheels would move forward and the right wheels would move backwards. And then again, you would just stick them in here and then you'd be able to drive around and turn. You can already do it some. So you can already drive and turn and so forth. It just, like here, when I'm turning this away, these wheels should be going backwards and these wheels should be going forwards. That's the only way it could turn that sharp. So I'm gonna stop the video for, there, for now and move on to the next one. You're in my class, so make sure and let me know if you have any trouble with these or any questions or anything. So I will see you in class. Bye, everybody.